Energy Arts family. So guys, we have tremendous record flooding, historic flooding going on in the Northeast. As we see remnants of Hurricane Ida are bringing record rains. Um, this is pretty insane what we see going on in so many areas from New York City down to Philly. And of course, Louisiana's had massive flooding from this storm. And thank you for your patience Well. Twitter is waking up again. That's that's not the beach. No, that's the Queens Boulevard. Yeah, literally a river. Bus fully flooded driving through. Multiple cars stuck in the water. Yeah, there's been so many water rescues. At least eight people have, have lost their lives in this historic flooding that we have seen going on here. And again, this is a global thing. You know, we're seeing the type of flooding that you would have only had seen maybe once in a generation happening all over in so many different countries. This is in Brooklyn. A lot of abandoned cars, just, you know, pure chaos. The subways, a mess. And, you know, again, this is all due to remnants of what was Hurricane Ida with 150 mile an hour winds. And here you see New York Fire Department out here rescuing people from the, I think you forgot the M in middle of this flooded intersection. And as far as hurricane season goes, we're kind of in the peak of it right now. And thanks again for your patience with Twitter loading here. And out of Philly and, man, New Jersey, too. You know, we've had tornadoes on the ground. Beautiful neighborhoods just devastated. Half a house is missing. The total damage of what this storm has done uh, will be very, very high. As you know, there was uh, also the scene where they were rescuing a cow down in Louisiana that was stuck up in a tree. The floodwaters had lifted a cow up so high that he got stuck in it, or she got stuck in a tree and had to be rescued later. As you see, a tornado on the ground in Edgewater, Maryland. So, you know, you don't have to, again, have the damage come from 150 mile an hour winds or even from the, you know, storm surge. As we see here, you know, this is, you know, a thousand miles away from where it made its first landfall and caused tremendous damage all through this area, New Jersey, New York and uh, Philly as well. Crews have been spending morning performing water rescues, 260 boat rescues, 41 passengers from the school bus, 10 more from homes because of the water coming in so rapidly. And, you know, what can you do? I mean, this guy's just like, ah, screw it. I'm just going to chill. As he's vaping away, on the alleyway and just uh well he looks like he's just relaxing all right to each his own to each his own and this is uh again going to be a look at some flood damage in philadelphia the Schulkill river is like at historic records here 23rd Street in Philly. Unprecedented flooding in these areas. People have never seen this before. And again, this is this is something that's not just with this storm. This is something we're seeing globally going on. And of course, you know, we could say it's part of a natural cycle, part of a grand solar minimum, which the uh, sunspot count is running ahead of what they had predicted. 
Do you see breaking major historic flooding? It's going to keep rising for hours. Shops flooded. This is in Philadelphia. Now, Philadelphia, again, it's not right on the ocean. But the rivers, everything, it's just incredible what we're seeing going on here. Totally apocalyptic flooding. This is out of Strange Sounds. The subways, you know, I mean, incredible what we've seen going on. Yeah, I, I, people are just experiencing something like they've never seen. Three to four inches in an hour, uh, Mayor de Blasio. I have never seen this much rainfall this quickly. Absolutely astounding. Three to four inches an hour is very hard to deal with. And, you know, we have all over the place people that were helping others out, which is a beautiful thing. Absolutely. In these times, everybody needs as much help as possible in getting through these times. And how do you prepare for things like this? Well, Hurricane Nora over in Mexico, too, more devastating floods. So these scenes keep repeating everywhere we look. And we jump back over across the Atlantic on the other side. Water, water everywhere. Heavy rainfall causing destructive flash floods in Spain. Three inches of rain in just 30 minutes. Washing cars away. Streets turning into rivers. More videos. You know, this is just, this is a daily occurrence now. 100-year, 1,000-year floods happening, it seems like, every day, every other day. Jump over to China, Qingdao, China. Where did that street go? It's gone, washed away. As you see, there's videos here, too, people rushing out of harm's way. The devastation that we're seeing globally, it, it does remind you, as in the times of Noah, or the Sumerian Noah, which precedes the biblical Noah by at least 1,200 to 2,000 years, as far as the writings go. Third cloudiest month on record, southern England, for long wet weather, causing problems with crops and harvests. Again, that's the other thing that we're seeing. This region received 129 hours of sunshine this month compared to its usual average of 192.5. So August set to go, to go down as the third cloudiest month on record for southern England. And, you know, England, what we do think, damp and cloudy, but even going to an all-new level. And by the way, here you go. There's Hurricane Larry now. Yeah, and that is projected to be a cat four building up to a cat four going back down to a cat three and we can see what's over here this is the coast again this you know you got to wonder what's going to happen with this it's too early to tell right now as it's so far out it's moving west at 20 miles an hour should be turning towards the northwest and then hopefully taking more of a northerly turn and going back out to sea doing nothing because, you know, can you imagine the last thing that we would need right now would be a, another impact so somewhere along the east coast of a hurricane as we're looking at the different models right now. You can see it is turning upwards. We'll have to watch this and see because there is technology out there, as we know, that allows for steering the declassified technology out there. So we'll watch Larry, as Larry is definitely going to be a major hurricane. But hopefully it won't impact at all and just drift out to sea. But even with that, when it drifts out to sea, you know, there's a chance that it could end up bringing a lot of rain if it doesn't impact North America at all over again to England. So we'll have to watch, or maybe perhaps somewhere else in Europe, Official reports progress in defending the Lake Tahoe area from fire, so that's good. 
they're making some progress due to uh, the weather still far from over and then we have a lot of uh, volcanic emissions going on Teleco volcano over in Nicaragua so we're watching more and more volcanoes waking up all these emissions are just putting ash in the air which is going to increase basically increase our rainfall increase the situation that we already see so aggravated and this is over in the Mariana Islands aviation color code raised to orange this is at Pagan volcano and then we also have over at White Island we still have persistent ash emissions there as well with this deadly uh, volcano and by the way China is proposing that they want to build a mega spaceship that's nearly a mile long and uh, perhaps they shall do it perhaps with the help of some well you know some slimy beings <laughs> we can leave it like that uh, but yeah they do want to build a mega spaceship that's nearly a mile long and it can be done it can be done. We shall see as the there's an artist's illustration of a future spaceship orbiting the Earth. Makes me think and wonder of how many are up there already that we don't know about that are, have been made by human hands here on Earth. And guys, I want to thank all the Patreons out there. We couldn't do it without your support on Patreon and also on Ko-Fi. Keeps us going in these times of the big C word and also everybody that is checking out medicinal foods because when you do order using the link that's at the top of every video it does help to support the channel Cindy is busy with an appointment right now but I wanted to just get a quick update out on the flooding let everybody know what's going on and we'll be back later on today with another video as always guys stay prepared out there God bless and namaste